Earlier I posted a video showing how to solve easy Sudoku puzzles. Here's how you solve mediums. Every row has the digits 1 through 9. Every column has the digits 1 through 9. Every box has the digits 1 through 9. So you can see we have a 1 on the bottom, a 1 in the top, a 1 in the middle. It's got to be that way with every digit. Um, let's look now. I go to 2. I can see there's a 2 in this column. One of those three is a two, does me no good. I can't tell where any twos go. Um, three, one of, one of these two has to be a three, but that doesn't do me any good yet. Four, no, five, five, five is already there. Six, seven, eight, eight, eight. One of these two is eight. I like to put a little eight here and a little eight here just because they're in the same row. Um, nine, I can see that there's a nine here. The top or bottom has to be a 9. Here we go. There's a 9 on the right, a 9 in the middle. So this has to be a 9 right here. And now, when I look over here, I can see there's a, a 9 in the middle, a 9 in the left. One of these two has to be a 9. Because that is a 9, the top has to be a 9. Now, um, we have 9 on the top, 9 in the middle. One of these two has to be a 9. I like to write a little 9, a little 9. I usually put a little box around it. Now when I did the easy, I filled in most of the numbers. On a medium, I only got one number. But we keep going and it builds. We go to the next level and we can see there's a 1 in the middle. That means that if there is a 1 in the middle, there's a 1 in the middle here. The only place left for a 1 is going to be this bottom corner. So now we have bottom middle, top. One of these two must be a one. It can't be there, so it's got to be there. Now we'll go to two. We have top, middle, one of these two has to be a two. We can't tell where it is, so I'll put a little two and a little two, and that'll help me later. Three. Um, we have a three on the left, a three on the top. One of these two must be a three, so I'll write down a little a couple little threes there to help me later. When we get here, um, this does me no good. We're on four. Middle, no good. Um, I can see that a four has to be either on the top or the bottom here. And I like, when they're in a row, I like to write them down on mediums. That way I know that'll come in handy later when I'm when I'm figuring out fours. Five, there's a top and I can see now if there's a five on the top and a five on this side one of these two has to be a five. Now we already know that one of these two has to be a three. So this has to be a three or a five. I'll circle it. This has to be a three or a five. If these two have to be threes or fives, this can't be a two, so the two must go here. And that's how we do mediums, is we, we have to, you know, work through and give ourselves clues. Um, one, two, three, four, five, top, bottom. Okay, nothing else does me any good. Oh, yes, it does. We have a five across the top, a five down this side, so that must be a five. And now we come back to where we wrote our three and our five. If this is a 5, then this must be a 3, so I know it goes 3, 5 going down right here. And we keep going like this. It's a little harder than the easy was, but still, you just logically work your way through it. 6, we have bottom, top. One of these two has to be a 6. It can't be this square, so it must be this one. 7, we have one of these two must be a 7, bottom, top. So the middle, bottom, top, the middle must be a 7. 8, we have, this cannot be an 8, so the top has to be an 8. Top, bottom, middle is an 8. And then 9, we have bottom, middle, top has to be a 9. But I already put two 4's right here, so I know if this is a 9, this has to be a 4. So this is a 9. This is a 4. Now I'll erase these little 4's I wrote here. And you can see that I just gave myself an answer up here. I had the two 9's there. If that's a 9, I can go back in now and put a 9 here. 
Okay, so now I'll do another little trick. There has to be one through nine here. One, two, this has to be a three because there is no three anywhere else. And I've already got this narrowed down to two numbers. One, two, three, it must be either a four, five, six, or seven. Now there is no hint here, so I will write four, seven, and circle it, four, seven, and circle it. Now I go to the bottom. Um, I'll start with one. Middle, bottom, top. It has to be a one. And the further you get, the more clues you have, the easier it gets to do this. Here we have two. One of these two numbers has to be a two. That doesn't do me any good. Two across the bottom. Two here. One of those is a two. Not enough good. On my hard, I do something there, but on medium, I'll just keep going. Three. Um, no hint. This three is left, middle. The right has to be a three. And so now we have, over here, we can see that one of these bottom two, they have a middle, it can't be the top, it can't be the middle. One of these two is a three, it must go right here. So we have bottom, middle, top. One of those top two is a three. We can't tell where it is, so I'll put a little three and a little three and put a little box around it. Now four, we can see no clue there on four, no hints on four there. Four must be not left mid, or middle, it's got to be one of these two right. So I'll put a little four there and a little four there. Now we're on five. Five cannot be the left, it cannot be the right, it must be the middle. There's only one spot in the middle and there it is. Um, middle, top, bottom. One of these two has to be a five. It can't be the left, so it must be the right. Six, top, middle, bottom. That's already done. Seven, it must be one of these two because it can't be the top. So I'll put two little sevens here. All right, eight, and then let's look over here also. Seven, seven cannot be these two, so it must go here. Now, I just put two sevens right there. I see that it can't be the middle, so it must be the bottom. So there we go. We just keep chipping away at it. Eight. Uh, let's see. Well, I can tell you right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These have to be four and eight. So I'm going to put a four and an eight and circle them. That'll come in handy later. Um, now, let's see, 8 is not the bottom, it has, can be the top 2 there, so I'll put two little 8's here. Uh, 8 has to be top or bottom, so I have no clue on 8. 9, top, middle, bottom, so we're done. Now we'll do the same pattern going up and down. I can see 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, middle, left, right. This must be a two, and we already have an eight there to show me that that has to be an eight. Um, now, let's, I can tell you right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These have to be three or six. There's already a three there, so I'll put the six here, and I'll put the three there. Go on to the middle. We have one, 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 two on the left, if two's on the left, this must be a two. One of these three is a two, but we don't have enough hints yet, so I'll put two little twos here. All right, three, right, middle, left, four. Well, I can tell you right now, these have to be a four or an eight, so I will erase that and put a four or an eight. And we just keep going along like this um, until we get uh, through with the puzzle. Another thing I can tell you right here, if that's a four and an eight and that's a four and an eight, we know that this has to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know this is a two right here. Little things like that start popping up. Um, I'm going to, need to stop this right now and I will make a second part to this video because the video is already getting a little long. So tune in and see how I finish this up.